are sensitive to another vlog um, in the car again I need to get gas and I also am picking up a few things from Home Depot uh, a paint sprayer some stain because I want to tackle the patio either this week or next week so outdoor stain or sealer, I will have to talk to them. And uh, a water hose as well as paint stripper. Uh, because my, I have a second, at the second um, Chinese wedding cabinet and it actually had a sticker. Uh, so it was from Pier One in 2001. But anyway, so I've been working on that and I just need to strip it a little more and then also my dining chairs because I really I really did a lot when it comes to the chairs I put wood glue I, I reinforced them as much as possible and uh, I think this uh, the spray painter will will just be a very nice it will give me a very nice finish for primer as well as the paint and then I need cushions but I'll do all of that when I get there um, so yes I want to tackle the patio and I am also oh I did buy a gold faucet for the guest bathroom and I do have a plan of what I want to do for the guest bathroom and I also bought a light fixture for the guest room and let me think I think that's it I have not decided yet what I want to do because I was thinking about just uh, sanding my bathroom cabinets as well as the kitchen cabinets, sanding them and leaving them wooden, wooden and then staining and sealing them because of all the water, obviously. And I was thinking about that, but I think I might still paint the kitchen white and then leave the other cabinets wooden. That's the plan. Um, I found in the back. I did find um, handles for the kitchen that I like and I need a lot. I need I think over 30 handles for all the cabinets and because I also want to close off the island with more cabinets so I think I need like 30 almost 35 and it's quite expensive so I don't know yet see but yeah I've I've been making progress with the house and it feels really good and yeah like I said I'm going to get gas now and then we'll keep going so I just got home and I had this delivery waiting for me I did get a spray paint gun and I was looking at a few different ones, seen as I will only do, well, I think I will do quite a few projects, but uh, I did go into Home Depot to get the spray gun cleaner, and I got the gun online. I had it delivered, and then when I went in to get the cleaner, I realized they actually had it in stock. Whoops. Okay, I'm quite excited for this. So, one. All right. Don't know why it needs two boxes, but.
So it is a lower level spray gun. Um, ooh, oh, hello. Uh, because I don't, I don't have a need for a professional one. Otherwise, I would have invested more money into it. But this is just for some furniture and some, well, the kitchen and projects around the house. Um, I was actually thinking about painting the house eventually, but I don't know if I'll do that. So this is the Super Finish Max by Homewright paint sprayer. And I do need an extension cord for sure. And it does have a tank of 40 ounces. And it does have different spray patterns and it does have two different tips. There's a little cleaning brush as well. And I have, I think you, if you've seen my other videos, you might remember that I have a lot of projects waiting for me in the garage. So it does come with a little uh, wrench, I guess. And it does come with two different tips. And it does come with a cleaner. As well as a lid that I'm guessing is for the tank. Yes, it is. So, there you go. Home right. Finish Max Super. All right, and you can, there's a little adjustment wheel down here and it looks really nice. Like I said, I do need an extension cord. I don't have one. It's not that heavy, so I feel like it's going to be comfy um, when you actually have paint in it. And for my purposes, this is definitely sufficient and I'm very excited to try this out it's going to have to wait a little longer but I did get um, no I didn't yeah I did get <laughs> I did get some stain for a few indoor projects and I also want to hopefully finish at least the, the patio um, and the outdoor bench that I have um, at least get enough done so that we can sit outside and actually enjoy the weather because it is not too hot yet. So I'm looking forward to that for sure. And I'll just put everything back in my little box. And I'm going to make some lunch. My husband is at work. And oh, yes. I mean, I have, I have so many projects that I could show you, but none of them are finished. And um, I've also sold quite a few things on Facebook Marketplace. Um, I actually donated two big bags of mainly craft supplies and picture frames this morning because I cleaned out my office and I did get a nice rug for the office and I do have a vision for my office now but <laughs> I want to I honestly want to do most of the outdoor work while it's still bearable outside today is actually kind of chilly as you can tell by my by my sweater but um, yeah it's been really really enjoyable and let me show you a little bit of what I did so today I am in my office and um, I just basically today started working out properly again 
I have really been slacking for a few weeks, but mainly because I was working on all my projects in the garage and in the backyard. So um, that's why I haven't done much here, but I have decided on what I want to do for the office. I did get a rug, which um, I cleaned thoroughly and placed it in the office, but I'm not sure about the color. It's a bit dark, I think. Um, but anyways, so I want to, or I'm going to paint the walls. And I do think that I will install crown molding as well as picture molding, which I adore. And I did hang some pictures and um, just some sentimental things as well. I have a vision board over there, which I like to look at. And I have my goals, like the 2023 goals, five year and life goals. I have my little table of goals over there. And I was just doing some work. And today actually, when I got home and took a shower, I think I broke my my blow dryer. This is actually a travel blow dryer and it's supposed to be 110 as well as 220. And I got this while I was still in Germany. So that was a year and a half ago, specifically for traveling because we travel so much. And um, it comes with E, an EU plug and I have my little adapter here and it just turns off randomly so I tried cleaning it but that doesn't negate the problem so luckily we had a spare blow dryer in our guest room which we are actually about to have another guest um, and I'm excited I am actually um, I, I hung curtains in the guest room, which they're not finished um, because they only cover like, down to the windowsill, I think. <laughs> and I want them all the way to the floor. So I'll have to extend them, which is fine. But I did put up the curtain rod and the curtains and I removed the dresser. I'm probably, well, I am actually giving another dresser a makeover, but I don't know if I will Put it in here or if I will put it back into the guest room. The third option would be to put like an entry table into the guest room which would and like putting drawers in the closet which I think would be more efficient and safe uh, space saving because it is a quite the, the rooms are quite small my office I believe is 10 by 10 which is not big of course this rug is 5 by 7 that I have in here and um, I think you can hear that it echoes um, because I don't have a lot in here I haven't even put up the curtain rods because I don't know what kind of curtain I want to have in here, so I don't know yet. That's okay, I've just got mail. So yeah, I did frame some artwork. Let me show you a few pieces. Okay, so this is um, uh, Naoko Takoshi, an illustration of Sailor Saturn that I just like. <laughs> and then I have an anatomy print and this is just a piece of calligraphy. And then there, here's my drawing table. And then I framed a few more things just so that we have some of them framed. They're probably not going to remain in here. And this is a Korean tiger. And here's the second one of the Naoko Takoshi prints. This is Black Lady. And then this is a, I actually have a, an art book. This is a Chinese artist. I met him 
in 2010 and I cut this out of that art book. It's one of his paintings, obviously a print, which I like. And then this is just a, it's a, I got it one of the jobs and you can tell that the walls definitely need painting. I did fill some holes and they also had a TV here. So I have to take off the, the little cable holders. But yeah, other than that, it's quite a naked room. Here's my little board and then I have a few more. So this is the art piece that I got in Korea, but I don't have the right frame yet. And then I have a few <laughs> frames that I still need to fill. So it's just some random artwork. And then I found this frame and yes, it is broken, but it is quite beautiful. Sadly, the artwork is not very nice looking, but it does have this really gorgeous hook hardware and it was really dirty. So I just used some barkeeper's helper or a friend or whatever it is and really polished it up. And I think this would be really nice for a chinoiserie panel. And one more thing before I go, because I do like to give credit. And so the this piece of artwork, the, the print is from this little booklet. Um, this is Zhang, Zhang, Zhang Zhang's paintings, <laughs> 2010, that's all I can read, I don't know, it's all in Chinese. So I did meet him in Beijing and a friend of mine, we went to, I think it was his cafe because it had um, a really big piece of his artwork on the wall and we had a coffee, we talked to him. It was in January, so the weather was horrible, <laughs> but we had a good time. We tried talking to him. He barely spoke any English, but um, it was still nice. He even signed it for me. And if I can find a website, I will leave it in the description box for you. And let me see if I can find that. Oh, yes. It's such a long time ago, I'm telling you. Sometimes it seems like a dream. So, I might be able to tell this was the painting that is in the, or was in that cafe at the time. And it's pretty cool. It's pretty big too. So anyways, just wanted to give credit because I like it a lot and I actually cut out one or two more pieces but I don't have the right frames yet and um, or I have a frame but not the right passepartout so I have to get those and I think that's it I try to keep these short and sweet thank you so much for watching if you have any questions or suggestions please leave them down below and until next time, bye.